Hello Gemini, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message for past love, someone that you have history with. I will be posting the new love reading, so make sure you have notifications turned on so you don't miss it. But just remember that energy is fluid, the roles could be reversed, and only take what you feel resonates with you. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. Okay, so if you are coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. And I do apologize, Gemini. I know the reading has taken a long time to come out. I've just been so busy with work and personal life. But thank you for your patience. And I promise I am trying to be more consistent. But thank you. Thank you for your support and your patience. So let's see. Spirit, how does this past person feel? about Gemini. Okay, we have the King of Wands. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Knight of Wands. Okay, okay. Someone here, Gemini, whether it's true or not, feels like you portrayed yourself in a very mature way. Someone who's grown a lot. Someone who's, um, you know, has this maturity to them. Someone here feels like you lied to them. Someone here feels like you are actually a player, you are actually running around, you are actually inconsistent, hot and cold. Now, whether or not that's true, Gemini, and you're sitting there like, I didn't do that, they did that, they may just be projecting, but someone here feels like you deceived them. Someone here feels like they got tricked. Um, I know that's gonna ruffle some feathers, but that's what I'm getting here. I feel like someone here, um, they look at it like they thought you were one way in the beginning and towards the end they realized that wasn't it at all. Now this may be, be, I'm a firm believer that you can be with a type of energy that can make you, you know, say and do things at times that you wouldn't normally do. So if this person was de deceptive, if this person was lying, if this person was inconsistent and hot and cold, you know, maybe towards the end of your connection um, you felt like, you know, you got more angry than you normally would or something like that. This person has a hard time seeing their accountability in this connection, whatever happened here. Um, they're sort of just pointing the finger at you. Now, I do love readings and love can be romantic. Love can be friends. Love can be family. So take it as it resonates. But someone here just feels like they got tricked by you and they have a hard time seeing what they did wrong in the situation. Um, tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Two of Wands, lots of fire energy here, um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. We have the Two of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Someone here feels like they just saw the cycles repeating. They never saw like an out of this. They never saw things getting better. They never, you know, they kind of had like a negative view about it right from the beginning. So this is someone who I feel like holds maybe anger inside of them or negativity inside of them. And then as soon as they see it in someone else, like you, for instance, Gemini, they're like, oh, you're so angry. And like, they're quick to point it out, but they have a hard time like looking inwards. Someone here just feels like no matter what was gonna happen between the two of you, there was no sort of out of this. It was always gonna be the same. The two of you would always repeat the same cycle. They didn't see it getting any better, basically. Um, tell me more about the Seven of Swords. I feel like it's this one here. Ooh, the Sun, Leo energy. And the Five of Pentacles. You know, you really, and I see the Five of Swords at the bottom. You really brought to light this person's fear of abandonment. You really, you really made them realize that they don't like to be alone. They don't like to be left alone. They don't like to be left. So if you're the one who left this situation... Um, even after they sort of maybe even pushed you to do so, I feel like this person looks at you like you abandoned them. You, you weren't the same that you were supposed to be in the beginning. You were supposed to be the mature one and you ended up 
playing me. Like that's how this person feels, whether it's true or not. I feel like you just, you shone light on this for this person. And I feel like they are sort of having a hard time reconciling that. Like they sort of feel, it's like you can't unsee it now. Whatever you said or did with this person, Gemini, it's like they can't unsee how they are. They can't look at themselves the same anymore. And it's almost like they're blaming you for that instead of just fixing whatever it is, instead of fixing their behaviors. Because I feel like this person was inconsistent with you. I feel like at one point you thought you were on the same page and then this person sort of just turned. And then again, I feel like they're blaming you. I'm seeing this five swords at the bottom. Like they played like like even very subtle mind games with you. Um, so it's like you were, you were an integral part of this person's journey, right? Even if you're still in contact with this person, you are. But they're sort of having a hard time grasping that. They're sort of looking at it like it's your fault for whatever has gone on between the two of you. Um, don't shoot the messenger when I say that, Gemini. But let's see. what What is this person's actions towards Gemini in the next two to four weeks? Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions? Will this person take the ace of cups wow okay tell me more the hanged man pisces energy the nine of swords the king of swords so what is this someone here wants to start over here with you but they also it's almost like a truce I'm getting with this person. Whether it's romantic or family or friends, it doesn't matter. There's someone here wants a truce with you, but then they're also sort of still acting cold. They're still acting like distant from the connection or, or like it doesn't matter that much to them. If you want a truce with them, great. If not, fine, I'll move along. But it's like they're coming back for one anyway. So it's like, if you really didn't want one, why are you messaging me or why are you reaching out? I feel like this person... Um, how do I put this? I just feel like this person has a lot to say. Like, I'm going to be really curious to see the hidden messages that come out. They have a lot they want to say to you, Gemini, but they, they act like they don't. They act like they don't have a lot to say at all. I feel like this person can't stop thinking about you and the situation with this Nine of Swords. They just, again, you've sort of flipped their perspective. You, you help them see things from a different way now. This hanged man coming underneath the Five of Pentacles. It's like they realize the way that they are. Like if they had this fear of abandonment, they could have pushed you away before they thought you were going to push them away. But then they, they turn around and say, well, you're the one who walked away. They're not, it, it's like, they need to recognize their contribution. And it's like part of them does, but a part of them still wants you to sort of take most of the blame here. So this person is interesting. It's like they want to, they want a truce. They want to start over, but they also feel like they still want you to, uh, I don't even know how to put it. Like, I feel like this person doesn't even know what to say to you, but they're still acting cold. Tell me about the Ace of Cups, because this is interesting. The Hermit, the Magician, we have Virgo, Gemini energy here, the Seven of Cups. Yeah, I feel like, it's like this person reaches out to have a truce just to be confusing again. It's like they're kind of trying to manipulate the situation here. I feel like they're trying to make it in their favor. It's almost like they're trying to say, well, I came back and apologized. I said sorry to you. If you don't accept my apology, well, then you're the problem. It's like, it's like they're trying to flip it again, trying to make you the problem again here, Gemini. Even if you've like walked away from the situation and you've just accepted it, it's like this person hasn't accepted it. They're having a hard time um, sort of realizing that they need to just admit they need to they need to just admit it admit that you were wrong admit that you know what you did was not okay and we could move along i feel like that's even my the energy that you might give this person and they're like they're not okay with that is what i'm getting here so if this is romantic and this person comes back and says, you know, I still have feelings for you, I feel like they're still going to act cold. And then they might even still have other options here too with this seven of cups. I feel like this person doesn't know what they want. Um, <clears throat> I just heard, but they want to bug me. So I don't know if you feel like this person bothers you, if they bug you, if they just come out of nowhere and start talking to you for to make themselves feel, feel better or whatever it might be here. But I feel like this person will reach out just to sort of pull back again confusing you wonder why they even reach out in the first place 
Um, okay. So there could be a Virgo, a Gemini, a Libra, a Pisces, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. If you don't hear their sign, though, it doesn't mean that they're not here. Let's see this person's true intentions. What is this person's true intentions with Gemini? King of Pentacles, the lovers, stop this. Gem more Gemini energy, that's your energy. The Eight of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, Justin. What does this person really truly want deep down that they're not saying? And maybe, maybe eventually they will. We'll see the potential outcome. That they want you, that they want you to choose them the way they feel like they want to choose you. But it's like this person will only choose you if they're for sure that you would choose them back. This isn't someone who would be vulnerable. This isn't someone who would put themselves out there and say, you know what, I'm just going to tell you how I feel regardless of what you feel, Gemini. Um, they, they want you to say it first, almost. I feel like this deep down, this person really wants to give to this connection. They do. I feel like they want it to move along. I feel like they want it to be more balanced. I feel like they want to work together. But this is why I always like to pull intentions because I feel like Someone can be acting and saying certain things, and you, and if, especially if your intuition is very strong, Gemini, you can be hearing them and be like, but I just don't feel like that's actually what you feel deep down. And they could deny it, deny it, deny it, be cold, not, you know, act distant, but you can feel deep down. I feel like that's what you're going to feel with this person. You're like, deep down, I know you're hurt, or deep down, I know you want, you know, us to be okay, but you're acting like you don't. And that's what I feel like this person's doing. I feel like deep down, they really do want to nurture this connection and work together and to move past whatever it is that's happened between the two of you. <clears throat> we have Taurus energy here too. Yeah, this, I mean, let's see the potential outcome, but it just looks like this person is, um, it's almost like their pride is in the way too with that King and Knight of Wands. Like they're very, they're too proud to admit they're wrong at times. <clears throat> What's the potential outcome? The Queen of Swords, Strength, Leo Energy, the Five of Pentacles again, the Empress. I feel like, again, this is this person being, being cold again, unless you sort of open up to them. I feel like it's taking a lot for them to not actually say what they really want to say here. And I feel like this is you here, Gemini. doesn't mean you have to be a female with the Empress energy. But you're sitting there like, I don't chase anyone. I'm not going to chase you. I'm not going to chase this situation. If you want to come talk to me, great. We can talk. But I'm not going to sit here and you know, run after you, maybe even the way you used to, or try and fix this all the time, the way that you used to, because I feel like that's what this person's kind of hoping for too. They kind of hope that if they keep doing the same thing that they had been doing, like acting cold or acting like they don't care, you'll be the one to come back around and say, Hey, like, what's up? Let's, let's fix this or what's wrong or, <clears throat> and I feel like you're not doing that. And I feel like, again, it's triggering this person's fear of abandonment here. Like, like you're not, coming after them and they're remembering how it feels to be left behind, right? And fear of abandonment comes all the way back from childhood. So, um, I mean, it can, it doesn't have to be that, you know, their ex left them or something like that. It could be that, you know, a, a parent figure was absent, um, even mentally or emotionally, physically present, but not there, right? So I feel like this person is kind of it's like they're kind of testing you a little bit and I feel like you're not having it. I feel like you're like, no, I'm, I have bigger things to worry about and I'm, I'm not going to chase you anymore. And that's, again, making this person feel like, well, Gemini's leaving me behind. You see, see what Gemini does? They don't even give me a chance when you're like, I feel like you're just kind of over it, Gemini. That's the energy I'm getting. I feel like it's just like, okay, well, you can think what you want to think and you can feel what you want to feel. And I'm sorry that that's how it looks to you, but that's not how I feel. And that's not what I think. So uh, we can agree to disagree. Like, I feel like you're just at this point where you're like, okay, like you're not um, as emotionally riled up as this person thought you would be, or maybe even wants you to be. So <clears throat> yeah, just stay in this Empress energy, stay in this, you know, uh, I don't chase anyone energy. And you just kind of sit there and, and, radiate that positive energy that you have um how will gemini know who this is the star could be an aquarius 
the sun again leo energy the three of wands the page of pentacles it's someone who wants to make up with you it's someone who um again you've you've shone a lot of light onto this person even if you were with them for a short amount of time <clears throat> there goes my throat this might be hard for this person to say that that you have shown them a side of themselves that they kind of knew was there but they didn't really acknowledge i feel like um this person knows they have a lot of work to do on themselves i mean we all do in some capacity but i feel like this is someone who's like a, like they, like they might even say like you know i eventually i hope we can be friends or i hope we can be civil i hope we can be cordial um tell me more about the star and the sun the ace of wands and temperance sagittarius energy Hmm. you know i feel like this person um this might be the type of person who has like a like really great ideas but like starts them and then stops them like doesn't follow through with even like projects or assignments or whatever it might be i don't know why that came through as that but it did any advice for gemini The King of Cups, have compassion. The Page of Swords, the Two of Cups. Remain curious. And you know what? I feel like there is a strong bond between the two of you here. Be open-minded. What did this, because this is my soulmate card and soulmates are always here, no matter how long they're in our life. And soulmates can be friends, family, lovers, right? They can be anyone, but they're here to teach us. So I feel like Spirit's asking you to tap into your, compassion your empathy and be like what did this person teach me like what what is the strengths and and the lessons i've learned from this what is what i what have i gained that i will take with me be curious about this connection be like why why is it you know so hard to stay away from this person or why is it that they're so triggering when they say this or why you know ask yourself why a lot with this connection because I feel like when you start asking yourself why instead of just seeing them as like being the way that they are maybe asking like why are they that way or why are they responding that way I feel like it's gonna allow you to see the situation more from a place of love and not that you have to let this person back in but that you can just sort of understand it and and move on or um set boundaries if you want to be with them or talk to them still or whatever i just feel like there's an energy here of like step into love and i know that might sound hard to do especially depending on what this person did um <clears throat> but i just keep hearing why 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 so keep asking yourself why and here's the other thing too if we're if we're sort of in a situation or reflecting on a situation and someone has really hurt us, we can say, well, why would they do that to me? Why, 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 why? Them, 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 them. But I feel like Spirit's also asking you to look at yourself. Okay, well, why did I allow that energy in my life, right? What, what, have, what have I learned about myself too? So I just feel like it, like it goes both ways. Um, ask yourself questions about them and yourself as I feel your advice here. So you have picture, looking at pictures, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. Yeah, this person's definitely thinking about you a lot. Cut down, cutting out, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment. So this person might have been someone to give you silent treatment, but you, I feel like you've, again, you've put a halt to it. Um, we got key on a ring, many options, unconventional, one night stand, string along. So this person feels like you strung them along, but it might be because they're projecting. Um... Like they actually were the ones to string you along. We have Phoenix, new phase and rekindle, renew and growth, changed mind, rise from ashes. So again, what did you learn from this? The Phoenix rising from the ashes. And then we have grounding, stability and security, performance, growth, and endurance. Okay, let's see if there's any messages here. Messages for Gemini, please spirit. Confession, someone has to tell you something. Mm -hmm. Patience, just a few more months, good things come to those who wait. 
So if this is especially like a, a relationship that still means quite a bit to you um, and you're hoping things can smooth over, I feel like in time they can, but, but you kind of have, and this might be hard to hear, but you kind of have to be the more mature one in this situation and handle it from a place of like groundedness and not becoming emotional when this person sort of, if they do like go off at times. Um, we also got spy. Someone's got their eye on you. You are doing your research. Yeah. So again, ask why. We have intimacy, sexual chemistry, reminiscing. That might not apply to you if this is just a friend um, or family. We have sexuality. Someone is still figuring themselves out. So that could be the case. Don't take it if it doesn't resonate. But let's see their hidden messages. I'm very curious about these right away. I don't understand what you see in me. I don't feel attractive. So this person could be really insecure. They don't know what you see in them. Um, I know what I'm doing. I play dumb to keep you confused. You see, I feel like this person is well aware of their games and what, what they do. I feel unbalanced and uneasy. I don't know what to do to fix it. I have karmic debts that need to be paid before I can come back to you. So I feel like, again, you shone a light on this person and like maybe their shadow side and what they need to work on. Um, and it's almost like they're trying to reunite too soon. It's like they need to work on that first with that star card. I hid who I really am from you. So you could have felt like this person, because like I, I, the very first thing I got was this person felt like you were one way in the beginning and completely different at the end. Again, that could be them projecting. That's actually how they were. So you could have felt like this person hid who they really were and they were not the same from beginning to end. I want to be more than friends. Mm -hmm. I am afraid to contact you. Mm-hmm. This connection bores me to death. I need something more exciting. Whenever this card comes out, Gemini, I always see it as if someone is used to chaos and dysfunction and toxicity and roller coaster, up and down emotions. Usually, again, this is because this is what they witnessed as a child or they had the same kind of relationship with their own parents or caregivers or family. And so when a connection comes along that's more stable, that's really grounded, that's mature, it's almost like they can cause problems because they're they're looking for that roller coaster ride. They're looking for the up and down. They're looking for the the chaos, right? And so if you ended up just walking away and saying I'm not chasing you anymore, I feel like this person's realizing it's actually a deeper wound than what what they realized. Um, I feel alone and in the dark. Where is my light? This person could have said something like that to you, like you are the light in their life. I know that you may not feel for me as I feel for you. So again, this person feels like they don't know where they stand with you. I left, you see, I left you before you could leave me. Gemini, I'm telling you, this is someone who caused problems, who pushed you away because they were scared that you were going to push them away. A fear of abandonment can be healed, but it's something you have to work at consistently. And unless this person wants to do that, it can't happen, right? And it's not your job to fix it either. Um, I feel like there's a couple more. We will be together again. So someone definitely wants you back in their life here. Um, I have lost faith in you and cannot see a future with you anymore. This person, that back and forth... Like I said, Ace of Cups, let's truce, let's be back together again, or let's be good, King of Swords, cold again. It's the same thing. Look, it, we will be together again. I have lost faith in you and cannot see a future with you anymore. Like this person, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. Rejecting you was protecting myself. I was being selfish. I'm telling you, Gemini. This person didn't want to push you away. They did it out of fear. And I'm not justifying their behavior, right? But I just feel like you've stepped into this energy where you're like, no more. And this person never thought you would do that. We have take action. And we have remain positive. I said that top one too, which says recovery. So maybe this person's in recovery of some sort. I mean, recovery can be physical, mental, emotional, spiritual. Take it as it resonates. Um, Messages for Gemini. Loneliness. I know that I am never alone. So I think when this card comes out, I tend to get the feeling of 
You know, sometimes loneliness can drive our decisions. If a familiar energy comes back around, it can be, you know, comforting because we know them and we've been there before. But um, if we're connecting out of loneliness, it can, it can kind of cause us to connect to energies at times that maybe aren't in alignment with us anymore. Right? So spirit just wants you to know that you're never alone. Um, a time for healing. Yeah, there's... There's an energy and this person got the star, right? Which is the card of healing. So this person might be in recovery right now. Um, they're healing. They know that they need, like I said, everyone has healing to do, but they have a, a while to go here. Um, and you sort of were like the catalyst for that. And then we have the answers you need are coming. That's your energy there, Gemini. So there's still confusion around this. The answers are coming. Oh, right away. We got Treasure Island, number nine. And then we also got TikTok, number 30. But if you still have questions, Gemini, and you're still curious about this energy and you need more clarity, check out my link in the description box for Mystic Sense. There you can connect to a love psychic of your choice and your first five minutes with them are completely free. I also have a code there for 10% off. So check that out. Okay, so Treasure Island says, Poverty consciousness and a sense of not enough cast a shadow on your path. These ideas and core beliefs come with a high cost. Do you really want to proclaim yourself a victim of disappointment and failed expectations? Are you avoiding success because you will grow so tall that others will want to cut you down? Or is it possible that you're caught in a fear that you will lose what you have acquired, so you hold on so tight that you miss the opportunities to expand? You are challenged to change the way you see the world and move from a perception of limitations to a perception of abundance. Take a risk, for you have nothing to lose except your confinement in a prison of your own making. Open the door and find the abundance waiting for you to claim it. So... I strongly feel like that could be a career message. I'm gonna pull a couple cards on that. But Spirit's just asking you to check your thinking and your thoughts and your consciousness here. If you haven't read the book, The Secret, or watched the movie, I think it's still on Netflix, check it out. This is not a promotion, I'm just saying. Uh, it changed my life, so I <laughs> highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, I will pull a card on that after, but let's see, number 30. 30 says, love, the fulfillment of desire, and even the body's reproductive cycles have their own timetable. Some things are preordained and cannot be coerced. Everything has its season, its divine and appropriate timing, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. Remember that you always have enough time for love to find it, to nurture it, to give it, and to receive it. Its clock is eternal and ticks according to the beating of your heart in perfect rhythm. Isn't that wonderful to know? Love is always right on time. So maybe there's sort of an energy or a feeling of time is running out here, Gemini, but Spirit's letting you know you got the Wheel of Fortune as well, which talks all about divine timing. So this could just be like a not right now with this person. It's not a never, but you decide and let me know in the comments what the situation is. Um, but let's see, tell me about Treasure Island. Cause this feels like a career message. The Ace of Cups, the Knight of Wands, the Hierophant. I feel like um, <clears throat> we have the moon, Pisces energy, Taurus energy. I feel like there could be something here, Gemini, that you're quite passionate about. I feel like you're trying to follow it by the book. You're trying to do it. So say if you're trying to open a business or something, you're like reading all about the business and, and you're you're doing it by the book here. You're, you're following all the rules. But I feel like spirit wants you to dig deeper than that. I feel like you... This is a very separate message. But I feel like there's like a dream you could have or like a vision you could have like during your day that kind of tells you where to take that. I also feel like Spirit's asking you to look at this situation with this person, with this Ace of Cups again, and kind of look at it like, what did you gain? Again, this is this card was all about like, don't have a lack mindset, have an abundance mindset. 
So some people might say, oh, what did I gain? I gained a headache or I you know, gained pain or heartbreak from this person and I totally get it, but they want you to dig deeper than that. What did you gain? Was there good times here? You know, was there passion? Was there fun? Was there spontaneity? Do you look back and be like, okay, yeah, you know what? There was that good memory and this person taught me like to communicate my needs or to set those boundaries. Like, I feel like they want you to dig deeper here. Again, your advice was that page of swords, like be curious about yourself and this person and this connection. <clears throat> okay, so these could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, significant dates, just take it as it resonates. If something here does not resonate, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we got K, Q, V, the number three, the number six, seven, and eight. Six, seven, eight, things are happening as they're supposed to here, Gemini, even if it doesn't always feel that way. So I do hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. I am sending you so much love and light.